adjectives. The Eiffel Tower is taller than the Qutub Minar. True, it is a landmark and an early example of wrought iron construction on a gigantic scale. Have you seen the Statue of Liberty? It is also very tall. Probably, but recently the Prime Minister of India has inaugurated the Statue of Unity, which is considered as the tallest statue in the world. In the conversation, the two friends admire the beauty of Eiffel Tower using adjectives. Here are the example sentences. The Eiffel Tower is taller than the Qutub Minar. Comparison of adjective. True, it is a landmark and an early example of wrought iron construction on a gigantic scale. Describe its age and quality. Probably, but recently the Prime Minister of India has inaugurated the Statue of Unity which is considered as the tallest statue in the world. Comparison of Adjective Definition A word used with a noun to describe the person, animal, place or things which the noun names or to tell the number or quantity is called an adjective. Usage of Adjectives Adjectives always come before a noun should be separated by a comma or conjunction when they are used together. That describes something in its own right is simple form. That are used to make comparison between two are comparative form. That indicate that something has the highest degree of the quality is superlative form. Let us look at a few examples. I am looking for a small, good-tempered dog to keep as a pet. Two adjectives separated by a comma. My cake should have 16 candles. Adjective of number. The poor woman had seen happier days. Positive and comparative form. There was not the slightest excuse for it. Superlative form. Never try to pet someone's guide dog without asking permission first. Noun used as an adjective. Here are some more examples. Sit down, Ravi. I have got some very exciting news for you. There should not be much talk and little work. The way was long. The wind was cold. The minstrel was infirm and old. He is a man of few words. Nilima disappointed me by her behaviour. Adjectives Position Where are you going, my friend, in this hot and dry weather? I am going to buy some charming silver ornaments at the Old Town Market. Is it? May I join you? Of course you can. Let us have fun together. In the conversation, we come across two or three adjectives with a perfect order. Here are the example sentences. Where are you going, my friend, in this hot and dry weather? Two adjectives joined by and. I am going to buy some charming silver ornaments at the flea market. Adjectives placed in a specific order. Definition When a number of adjectives are used together, the order depends on the function of the adjective. Usage We use some adjectives only after a link verb. Adjectives ending with ed are normally used only after a link verb. When there are multiple adjectives are used together, the usual order is quantity, opinion, Size, shape, age, colour, origin, material. A few adjectives are used only in front of a noun. In certain phrases, the adjective always comes after the noun. Let us look at a few examples. The policeman seemed to be very annoyed. Adjective after a link verb. 
He lives in the northern district. Adjective used only before a noun. She owns a stunning large old brown dog named Boris. Multiple adjectives according to the rule. Home was always a warm welcoming place. Now it is sad, dark and cold. The last adjective connected with and when they occur after a link verb. All the questions he asked were difficult. Attributive adjective after the verb. You make me happy after the object. Here are some more examples. He bought two brown bread rolls. She was a beautiful woman. I met a homeless person in New York. There used to be two big fields here when I was young. Gradable and ungradable adjectives. Position. This skirt is lot less expensive than the others. Yes, it's much cheaper. Let's buy some. But look at this jacket. It looks very expensive. You are quite correct. In the above conversation, Rani and Kavita uses adverbs like less, much, very and quite to modify the adjectives expensive, cheaper and correct respectively. Here are the example sentences. The skirt is a lot less expensive than the others. Yes, it's much cheaper. You are quite correct. In the first sentence, the adverb less denotes that the skirt is cheap. In the second sentence, much modifies the meaning further, denoting very cheap. In the last sentence, quite denotes the intensity of the statement that is absolutely correct. Definition Gradable adjectives show that something can have different degrees. Non-gradable adjectives do not have different degrees. Usage We use adverbs to modify the degree of adjectives. Gradable adjectives We use bit, very, really, extremely, rather, terribly, most and pretty can all be used with gradable adjectives. Ungradable adjectives We use absolutely, completely, almost, nearly, practically, virtually. Note Some adjectives can have both gradable and ungradable meanings like really, very, pretty and fairly. Let us look at a few example sentences. Don't talk to Jim. He is very angry. I think books about grammar are really amazing. My sister is absolutely certain that she wants to be a teacher. They were a bit scared of the barking dog. She sounded slightly foreign. He is advising on foreign policy. In the first and second sentence, the adverbs very and really Show the degree of the gradable adjectives, angry and amazing. In the third and fourth sentence, the adverbs absolutely and a bit show the intents of the ungradable adjectives, certain and scared. In the fifth sentence, foreign is gradable because it refers to a measurable quantity, whereas in the last sentence, Foreign is ungradable because it refers to a particular type of policy. So, it is standing alone. Here are some more example sentences. This book is very interesting. I felt completely exhausted after the gym session. I was slightly surprised when he told me the news. It starts an essentially chemical reaction. Prepositions after adjectives, afraid of, for, etc. Welcome to New Delhi. As informed, you will be responsible to the head of the finance department. I am perfectly capable of doing it myself. Thank you. 
I knew that I will be held personally responsible for whatever happens in the department. You are right. It is our duty to serve to the people of our nation. In the conversation, we come across the adjective responsible with different prepositions. Here are the example sentences. Welcome to New Delhi. As informed, you will be responsible to the head of the finance department. Preposition 2. Following the adjective responsible. I knew that I will be held personally responsible for whatever happens in the department. Preposition for used after the adjective. Definition. Some adjectives go with certain prepositions. There is no fixed pattern as such. Usage. We use some of these prepositions after these adjectives. In. Absorbed. Accomplished. Diligent. Enveloped. Fertile. Foiled. Honest. Temperate. Worst. Accurate. Etc. With. Acquainted. Affected. Busy. Compatible. Complaint. Contended. Gifted, delighted, endowed, overcome, popular, etc. Of, accused, afraid, appraised, assured, dull, easy, envious, fearful, greedy, guilty, ignorant, sensible, slow, sick, etc. For, anxious, celebrated, conspicuous, customary. Designed, destined, eager, eligible, eminent, fit, good, notorious, etc. Let us look at a few example sentences. She was afraid for her children. Preposition for, after, afraid. A person charged with robbery is an example of an individual accused of a crime. Of, after the adjective accused. That doesn't make it right to have someone accused unfairly without a preposition. The fuel is kept in specially designed containers compliant with international standards. Preposition with after an adjective. She was possessed with a strong sense of social justice and was never backward in speaking out on important issues. Preposition in after an adjective. Here are some more examples. I am already acquainted with the latest developments of the students. He is indebted to you for your help. Jawaharlal Nehru was fond of children. India is a noble, gorgeous land, teeming with natural wealth. The Moors were famous for their learning and their skill in all kinds of industries. Adjectives plus that clause or to infinitive. Mother, I can't find the book that I was reading. Here is the book you want. Where did you find the book? I found the book where father used to keep the files. In the conversation, the mother and her son use a group of words which does the work of an adjective. Here are examples of Sentences Mother, I can't find the book that I was reading. Here is the book you want. I found the book where father used to keep the files. In the first sentence, the clause qualifies the book. In the second sentence, the clause qualifies the pronoun. In the third sentence, the clause is defining one. Definition An adjective clause is a group of words which contains a subject and a predicate of its own and does the work of an adjective. Usage We use to infinitive clause or that clause when adjectives are used after link verbs, after adjectives to express feelings or opinions. Note, some adjectives like able, due, likely, prepared, ready, bound, etc. always follows two infinitive clause. Adjectives like awful, 
extraordinary important sad bad good etc always follows that clause we often use two infinitive clauses after adjectives when the subject is impersonal it let us look at a few example sentences i was happy to see them again two infinitive clause is used as the subject is same in both the clauses he was happy that they were coming to the party that clause is used as the subject is different they were not likely to forget it adjectives having a to infinitive clause after to say what action or situation it relates to the windows will be almost impossible to open adjective clause expressing opinion i was sad that people had reacted in this way that clause used after sad adjective it was difficult for her to find a job adjective clause after it as the impersonal subject here are some more example sentences it was good of john to help me it is extraordinary that we should ever have met am i wrong to stay here i am willing to try